this episode of our Canadian Rockies trip, we will hike the Bald Hills and enjoy views of Moline Lake, plus get a close-up look of three grizzly bear. Come along with us on part two of our journey of the beautiful Canadian Rockies. After several days of smoky skies in Jasper due to the wildfires to the southwest, we awoke to clear blue skies. We grabbed our hiking gear and headed off to the Bald Hills Trailhead. On the way we enjoyed viewing the local elk that are plentiful in this area. A view of the river has us pulling over to take a few pictures. What looks like beautiful fall tree foliage in the middle of summer is really pine trees dying from mountain pine beetle infestation. The Bald Hills Trail Loop starts on a gravel fire road that winds up the mountainside on a constant incline. 1.6 miles into the hike, there is a shortcut to the left that cuts up through the forest. While the trail is steeper than the road, it is a more pleasant hike with the possibility of spotting wildlife along the way. The Bald Hills are actually a 4.3 mile ridge with several peaks, all with amazing views. From the top you'll have a full 360 degree views overlooking Moline Lake where you can watch the boats heading to and from Spirit Island. You'll have views of the Queen Elizabeth mountain range, glaciers and alpine meadows. We hiked a total of 10 miles in 7 hours including plenty of time to rest, eat and enjoy the view at the top. This hike is rated moderate with the shortcut rated more difficult due to the steep incline. Our total elevation was 2500 feet including hiking to the top of two different peaks. <music> 
No photo album of Jasper National Park is complete without a picture of the iconic Moline Lake Boathouse. This historic building was built in 1928 by Don Curley Phillips for his wilderness guiding and fishing business, as well as his home. On a drive back to the campground, we spotted a mama black bear and her two cubs finding their lunch alongside of the road. We marked that down as our second bear sighting of this trip, both from the safety of a car. Little did we know what we'd see down the road, but more about that in a little bit. Our next hike took us to Moline Canyon, where the river cuts through the limestone and covers the deepest canyon in Jasper National Park. The 2.1 mile loop trail passes by six bridges from which you can capture beautiful views of the various waterfalls. The entire trail follows along the river, with several opportunities to take rest on the rocks and enjoy the sound of the rushing water. This unique canyon is fed not only from Moline River, which originates from Medicine Lake, but also from the numerous underground streams which cuts through the canyon walls to empty into the rushing river. Take your time and enjoy this easy walk through the forest and canyon, taking in the flowers and even a tree that has been hit by lightning. While in the town of Jasper, we found the Jasper Yellowhead Museum. 
At the time, they had a special exhibit on the World War I internment camp, which imprisoned 8,600 foreign nationals in 24 camps across Canada from 1914 to 1920. The memorial of one of those camps was on the Bow Valley Parkway, which we would visit later in our trip. Despite the many hikes we did, most wildlife was seen near the road. Our best wildlife sighting on this trip was a mama grizzly bear and her two cubs who crossed the road, passing only one car away from us. We got some great pictures from the safety of our car. Check out the claws on that bear. Long day of hiking, there's nothing better than a good soak in the hot springs. Miette Hot Springs is the hottest in the Canadian Rockies, flowing from the mountain at 129 degrees and cooling to 104 as it enters the pool. The drive to the springs is very beautiful and well worth it if only for the scenery alone. Mountains surround the entire area, but because of the forest fire smoke, we weren't able to see them on the day we visited. Wilcox Pass is a nice moderate trail that takes only a few hours to hike with time to enjoy the scenery. The trail meanders through a lush forest then quickly opens into the alpine zone with beautiful views of the mountains. Take a break in the red chairs and enjoy the view. Along the way you'll have views of the glaciated peaks, Mount Athabasca and Snow Dome. Hiking along the ridge, the full length of the Athabasca Glacier will be in view. After reaching the meadow, take the trail to the left that leads to the ridge overlooking the Icefield Center and Mount Wilcox. No matter what season you hike, there should be snow available for a quick snowball fight. Don't flinch. <laughs> Don't flinch. And yes, she hit me right in the camera. 
There are several creeks running through the surrounding meadows with wildflowers growing everywhere. The water is so amazingly clear and the stones and flowers are so pretty. Just a short drive down the road from the Wilcox Pass Trailhead, we visited Tangle Falls again. We found the site so beautiful we had to stop back for another look. It was much busier on this day since it was a sunny day. We wanted to add another province to our list, so we took a drive one evening across the British Columbia into the Mount Robson Provincial Park. More elk were seen along the road on our drive. Unfortunately, the wildfire smoke was even thicker on this side of the mountains, so there wasn't much to see. Cinnamon Peak. Mount Robson is right. Can't find it. Join the next edition of our trip when we visit Yoho National Park, take the big beehive hike at Lake Louise, become a waterfall toucher at Takata Falls, and view the natural bridge. Until then, 